Hi, I'm Burke Runton, and I'm the director of the Franklin Automobile Museum here in Tucson. And this museum is an old car museum, and it specializes in the air-cooled Franklin automobile that was made in Syracuse, New York, at the first part of the last century, 1902 to 1934. And these cars are high-quality, rather unique automobiles with directly air-cooled engines and they were very highly regarded in their time, but their time was pretty much ended by the Depression uh, in 1934. And uh, this collection here is the product of Tom Hubbard collecting and restoring cars over about a 30-year period and was able to turn out first-class work in Tucson with local people that went around the country basically to the big shows and took all kinds of prizes and was very favorably uh, received. So it's a unique little collection. Well, they started the company in 1902 and that was really the dawn of the automobile industry. They used to call them horseless carriages because that's really what they were. The first Franklin had a tiny little four-cylinder engine air-cooled and it was kind of a powered buggy. And it was well done and became quite successful in the marketplace. And they slowly developed innovations like a six-cylinder engine and the cars got bigger and could seat four people or five people. And they became really more practical as transportation and for a family. And you could, you could use these cars to get around in and they were fun and they were considerably more fun than the old horse and buggy and they became really popular so by World War I Franklin was regularly producing eight or nine thousand cars a year and as the 20s went along the cars became bigger and fancier and more expensive this was a, really a trend in the in the industry and chrome came along in the late 1920s and brighter colors and the cars around us now in this building are the classic period which is considered 1925 to 1934 for franklin's and this was really the pinnacle of design unfortunately the economic conditions of the time didn't support the company's continued existence as far as prices are concerned, let's just go shopping in 1931. You could buy a nice Model A Ford or a Chevy or a Plymouth for a range of a low of maybe seven to a high of $900. So that was really the low priced market. The medium prices, which would be a Dodge, a DeSoto, uh, that kind of Studebakers, that kind of a car would be one to $2,000. The least expensive Franklins came in right at the high end of that range, $1,700, $1,800. Most Franklins were two to three thousand. And a V12 like this car here was four thousand dollars, and that was a lot of money. You could buy a house, new house, for four thousand dollars at that time. So that would be like buying a fancy Mercedes convertible uh, if you were gonna go car shopping today. To put it in perspective, uh, my father worked as a machinist. He was lucky enough to keep his job during the Depression, and he brought home about $15 a week, and that was considered good pay. And I believe that my mother, when they were first married, would grocery shop for the family for the week on maybe $4. Now, people frequently ask, oh, how fast do these cars go? Well, they go pretty fast. But what were the roads like in Arizona in 1931? Well, there was almost no pavement except in the cities. And if you were seriously contemplating a trip to Phoenix, if you took your car, you were a very brave soul because the roads were unpaved, there were few bridges, you had lots of tire trouble. And really, on long trips, what people did was take the train. It was scheduled, air-conditioned, and comfortable. So these cars were used around here, and the Franklin was very well suited to the, the rough, bad roads and ruts and driving down in the wash. There's plenty of suspension travel. They're really good off-road. It's surprising when you drive one, and they really operate well in the speed range of between 25 and 45 miles an hour. Now, this sounds terribly slow, but if you could find a road in Arizona that you could do a steady 45 on, 
you were doing really well, and you do 45 to the next wash, and that might be as little as a mile away.